Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Rants. My name is Q, and you can't, you probably can't see me, but that's fine. Uh, this video is just gonna be me talking, and uh, yeah, you don't need to see me. So <laughs> it's about four o'clock in the morning. I just want to make this video, uh, basically talking about something that I seen yesterday, uh, and it kind of caught my eye a little bit. And I'm gonna talk about it, get my opinion, and let you guys know what I might do. So here's the thing. T-Mobile is coming out with some new phones. So if you guys don't know, T-Mobile has their uh, Rebel or Reverie, depending on how they want to call it. They have those um, those line of phones, which basically, uh, some of them are rebranded phones, uh, like the Reverie phones that came last year. Uh, they were basically rebranded Moto G7 Plays and Moto G7 Plus uh, devices. And, um, you know, for the most part, they worked out. Uh, you know, they just had some T-Mobile stuff on them. Uh, so this year they have the Rebel 4, Rebel 4 Plus, and the Rebel 5G. Uh, so we're going to talk about those phones briefly, give you the specs. Uh, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, just uh, talk about some things and, you know, see uh, if it's, uh, let's talk about the prices and see if it's worth the prices or, you know, what you should do. So uh, let's go and talk about the Reverie, uh, the Rebel uh, which is Rebel 4, which is the cheapest of them all. Uh, it's 120 bucks, five bucks a month if you do installment billing. Um, has a it has a uh, MediaTek processor, which MediaTek processors get a lot of bad rap here in the U.S. and they're actually not bad processors. I've used phones with MediaTek processors; they're not bad processors. But this is only a quad core processor, so I can see why they're downplaying it. It's only a quad core versus an octa core. Two gigs of RAM. 32 gigs of storage, 6.22 inch uh, HD display, 1560 by 720. Um, has a 3500 milliamp battery and a dual camera setup on the back, fingerprint sensor and face unlock. Now, the one thing I don't know about any of these phones, and we'll find that out on, on September 4th probably, is who makes these phones. Uh, in the past, sure, it's been Alcatel, I've seen LG, uh, but now I don't know who's making this one, so it'll be interesting to see. Now, let's talk about the Rebel 4 Plus, which is a phone that I, I may be getting, and we'll talk about that in a second. 192 bucks, but you're getting a lot for $192, and this is kind of amazing. Snapdragon 665, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, triple camera setup on the back, fingerprint sensor, face unlock, 6.52 inch display, 4,000 milliamp hour battery, headphone jack, USB-C, and I don't know if it's going to have stereo speakers, that's yet to be determined. And then we have the Rebel 5G. Now this one here is an interesting package. For 400 bucks, you get 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 765, that's a 5G processor, so it's going to have the 5G modems to support 5G. 6.53 inch display, 4500 mAh hour battery. Um, triple camera setup, fingerprint sensor, and face unlock. You know, all those good features. Now, here's the thing. These phones are competitively, competitively, competitively priced. Very competitively priced. Now, I think what T-Mobile's trying to do, and plus they're going to offer this to Metro by T-Mobile customers as well. I don't know. Like I said, one thing is to be seen is who's making these phones. Come in with the Android 10 out of the box which is kind of, you know, whatever. It might get an update, especially the, the Rebel 5G. I think the Rebel 5G and maybe even the Rebel 4 Plus should definitely get an update because Android 11 is right around the corner. Now, like I said, this is an amazing setup if you ask me. Now, the Rebel 4 Plus, that's an interesting concept. Now, a lot of people, the 5G, a lot of people are probably going to go with the 5G version because it's top of the line. And it's actually quite affordable. With Snapdragon 765, that's quite affordable in what they're offering in the package. But the Rebel 4 Plus, which I'm seriously looking at getting, if they tell me I can get it for zero down or, you know, maybe even a lower down pay, I don't know. But if hopefully they tell me zero down, um, I'm going to get that one because that's going to be a good phone. Stay tuned for my Galaxy A11 review. I do have it, the video shot. I just have to upload it. And, yeah. Just got to do some changes, but yeah, God, I'm going to upload that here probably within the next day or two. But so 
I appreciate T-Mobile trying to make 5G phones more affordable because 5G is new and it's um, it's a new technology and people are scared of the price because the 865 is so expensive. But with T-Mobile doing this, this is actually a pretty good idea. Now, I know everybody doesn't have T-Mobile coverage where they live. I have T-Mobile coverage. Now, and I'll make another video about this, but the Pixel... My Pixel 3a is my main device, that's where my SIM card is in, and it's a phone I cannot stop using. I refuse to switch my phone over to my SIM card over to anything else. I do have a secondary line for reviews and things like that uh, for my business. And right now, that SIM card is in the A11, but like I said, the Rebel 4 Plus, depending on who makes it. I'm going to see who makes these, if it's Alcatel or somebody else, I'm going to have to give it a shot. I'm going to swap out my SIM card and uh, well not my main SIM card but that SIM card is going to go into the um, seven you know the um, new reverie now here's the thing not everybody has T-Mobile coverage in the area I get that now me when my immediate area I don't have 5G coverage at my house so it would be kind of pointless for me to buy the 5G uh, the reverie 5G the reverie 5G I don't, plus, I don't go anywhere. I'm home 90% of the time because especially now with the pandemic, I'm home. If I go out, it's go to the bank or to go to the store or take care of some other personal business. But normally, I'm home. So, with that being said, like I said, there's really no point in me going outside. So, uh, 5G, if I leave the house and I go towards like Walmart or towards the mall, I have 5G coverage. But in my house, it's not really going to count. I don't have One, I don't have it here. And two, even if I did, I have Wi-Fi. 95% of the time and even if I do use my data hello I have unlimited LTE data and LTE is more sufficeable for what I need but I mean so but that, that's besides the point if you want 5G T-Mobile is giving this to you at a very affordable price and I'm very interested to see who's going to make these phones or what knockoffs are going to be because normally with T-Mobile phones are usually rebranded phones that are either already out or about to come out so very interested to see which ones this is now T-Mobile like I said not the best but they definitely have more coverage than Verizon when it comes to 5G but more 5G coverage uh, but most of the world is still running on LTE and that's perfectly fine but I'm very interested to see how these phones are going to work how they're going to you know how that's going to plan out so stay tuned I'm sorry I'm a little tired stay tuned I will be giving you my thoughts hopefully on the 4 plus don't hold me to it but if I can get it the way I want it I am definitely will get the 4 plus and we're going to try it out and we're going to see how it is. Set 665, 4000 milliamp hour battery. It's supposed to be a good phone. Um, I'm hoping it'll be a good phone. Because right now I'm using the A11. It's a decent phone. But for 12 bucks more, I'm going to get a better, a way better device. 12 bucks. And plus, you know, one thing's only going to be $1 more on my bill. So we'll, we'll see. So stay tuned, guys, for. You know, hopefully that unboxing. I don't. I'm not gonna make any promises, but hey, like I said, they give me a good deal. Hey, I will be buying that phone. So, Rebel 4 Plus, Rebel 5G. Like I said, if I had 5G coverage in my area, I probably would buy that one too. But I don't. So, yeah, I don't. Now, if this was helpful, informative in any way, please leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you guys think about these phones. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. You know, let me know what you guys think. Are you getting these phones? What do you think about T-Mobile's approach to 5G and making the rebranded phones? You know, let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. Catch you later. Be safe. Screen dim. Zoom out button. Stop video. Pause, rec pause recording. Okay, guys. Talk back off. I forgot to mention something about these Reverie phones. Or the Rebel, the Rebel 4, Rebel 4 Plus, and the Rebel 5G. If you add a line, or if you switch to T-Mobile, 
You can get the Reverie. The, uh, I keep saying Reverie because that's what the name of the last phones were. You can get the Rebel 4 Plus and the Rebel 4 for free. Basically, but you're getting it for $200 off. Now, if you get the Rebel 5G, you get $200 off of that. So, basically, the phone goes from $399 to $199. That's a steal for a 4G. I mean, for, well, <laughs> that's a steal for a 5G phone. So, the Rebel 5G goes from $399 to $199. Now, the catch is, of course, you have to switch to T-Mobile or add a new line. And you have to sign an EIP. Now, the Rebel 4 Plus and the Rebel 4 makes that free. Once again, you have to sign an EIP for 24 months. Now, yes, I know how people feel about signing an EIP, but with the Rebel 4, with the Rebel devices in general, they come with a two-year limited warranty, so that's pretty good. That two years is probably going to upgrade anyway. And plus, like I said, hey, it's free. Now, I wouldn't recommend the Rebel 4 at all. Um, off rip for 120 bucks. But if you're somebody that wants a phone to be a phone and you're getting it for free, hey, you can't complain. Especially that Rebel 4 Plus. Now, that's a good one. If you if you have to choose between that, you know, and, and the Rebel 4 Plus for free, I'll take that Rebel 4 Plus unless you absolutely find that phone a little too big or whatever. But for free, yeah, I'm definitely taking that Rebel 4 Plus. That's just my personal opinion. Now, with that Rebel 5G... 200 bucks for a 5G phone, practically. Man, you can't beat that. This is only for well qualified customers, of course. I'm not well qualified yet. So, but that's the story for the other day. So, thought I'd let you guys know that. Let me know what you think. It's been Q from Tech Rants. Stay tuned. Catch you later. Peace. Screen camera. Zoom out button. Stop video.